How's it going today, guys? This is Upside Down Ace, and I'm bringing you guys the fourth episode of my uh, weekend event coverage. And no, this is not Gears of War 1. This is Gears of War 3. I know about this lag, me skipping around. It looks like Gears of War 1. But um, I'm at my house right now. That's the reason for all the lag. I'm not at my college campus with my sexy 50 megabit download speed. Um, I have AT&T here, and I hate it so much. Um, my internet at my house it's like it's like the internet is like holding a hot pan it's like ouch, ouch, ooh, 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 and it drops all the time like literally I'm lucky if I get through a game of Gears of War 3 before it drops so um <laughs> it's just if anyone has AT&T and feels my pain let me know and we can talk about it cuz it's bad but um this is uh Zeta King of the Hill and um I hate it I hate this game mode, um, but this is the weekend event, and I'm going to show you guys. Um, it's basically like Gears of War took a step backwards and just became a generic third-person shooter. Because um, what happened is they took out the active reload. They have custom weapon balancing, which basically means the active reload damage is taken out. You see, you can see there. I did an active reload. It, the weapons flash and all that, but there's no extra damage. And the slowdown for uh, the Lancer is also taken out. So, you know, if you're shooting somebody with the Lancer, they don't slow down. Um, I like that feature personally because I would th hope that bullets would slow somebody down. I mean, these guys are roided up, you know. Their balls are probably the size of peanuts, but, you know, they can still just slow down when they're getting shot by a Lancer. So, I mean, it's whatever. Um, it's definitely not what I like to see in a weekend event, especially like this. I've had my complaints about them in the past, but this is definitely my least favorite one ever, just because it just seems so pointless. There's really, there's no fun aspect to it. It's just a really difficult game mode, and I really don't like it, but it's, it's whatever. Um, I do fairly well. Um, you see me go ham here on these three bitches, but um, I don't know. I don't recommend playing it. Just play it for one game to get your progression towards your onyx metal and then don't play it anymore um it's that bad but uh moving on to other stuff in gears um if you're just watching this you still have a few days to pick up some dlc that's on sale uh it's the i think the horde command pack and the phoenix rising maps i think i'm not sure i have a video about it um they're on sale and all the weapon skins are on sale so you can pick up every single launch weapon scan the only one you won't be getting is the green uh, the green liquid one, but that's okay. And they're half off. It's a great deal. You're saving like 20 bucks. Um, I would recommend buying it if you have any interest in the weapon skins. They all look really cool. Um, I know there was a lot of controversy when it came out because, oh, the weapon skins are all on the disc and we paid for the disc and shouldn't we get it? But uh, I know it's annoying, but if you really like Gears and you want to support Epic Games, just go out and buy the skins. They're half off um, and use a different one every day or something. So, other than that, uh, the future DLC for March is the uh, da, 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 Forces of Nature. Um, definitely want to bring you guys a lot of videos on that. Um, let me know if you want to see anything in particular. Um, I'm planning on maybe doing like an achievement guide to any diff particularly difficult achievements or um, just like how all the maps work and maybe some general tips and just all the craziness, you know, all the tsunamis and the avalanches and the earthquakes, hopefully. I'm going to bring you guys all that. So, um, if you're looking forward to that, let me know. I definitely am. I'm super excited. And if any of you guys want to play, uh, let me know. Add me on Xbox. It's Upside Down Ace. Same spelling. And uh, we can hit up some gears together. It's really fun. Super fun time. Probably my favorite game. Um, speaking of that, what do you guys want me to do uh, for gears? Because I want to start another series. Um, but I want to know what you guys want to see. I don't just want to put out random stuff like... This is me in Gears of War walking slowly in one direction. You know, I don't want to do that. I want to, I want to know what you guys want me to do. Um, I was thinking of doing something like a one-gun challenge where uh, maybe I have to use one gun in a certain map. Or maybe if we can get a lot of people together, we can all use the same gun, like a private match, and actually make like a fun weekend event. Maybe we can all have to use the Scorcher or something. I don't know. Uh, let me guys know. Let me bleh, let me know in the comments below what you guys want to see. Um, the one gun challenge is something I'm probably going to do, but if you someone else has another idea and they get the top comment, um, I'll try it out and see how it goes. Now, 
The other thing I want to talk about is kind of my opinion on uh, Gears of War's DLC. So if you don't care, you can hit the back button now. But if you're still listening and you want to hear about it, here goes. Um, we've had, you know, the campaign update and the Horde update and multiple multiplayer updates. And they're all awesome. And I've enjoyed every one. And I haven't felt like I've wasted any money buying DLC. But I kind of want to see, like, a big beast mode update. Because... Beast Mode has gotten... It's about the same as it came out. Um, I thought maybe when Rom's Shadow came out that uh, we could play as Rom, but that didn't happen. But I want to see, like, a Beast Mode update. I want to be able to play as, like, a Grinder or a, you know, a, a Shrieker or, like, maybe a Flame Grenadier or a... Uh, uh, what's another thing that's not in there? Uh, all the Lambent enemies aren't in there. So, I mean, they said they tested out every single enemy, um, every locust, and get in the before the releasing beast, but they didn't put them all in there. I don't know why. I would think like a grinder would be really fun. Definitely a lambent enemy. Maybe like you know, be a drudge, or it'd be really cool if you could be like a gunker. <laughs> I mean, you could be a berserker, and a gunker is nothing compared to a berserker. So I don't know. I just want to see a little bit more in beast mode. It's really cool as it is. Um, you know, it's a really fun time. It's a nice mix up to the game, but I just want to see a little bit more. It's kind of, it's kind of a neglected part of the game right now, which is perfectly understandable. I'm sure it gets the least play time, but I would like to see uh, it become like a Cinderella of the game, so to speak. You know, just neglected, and then all of a sudden it becomes absolutely amazing. But um. That's all I have for today, guys. If you liked the video, please like it, comment below with your thoughts, and don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos.